So the age-old question, if you have a Garmin unit that you use on your kayak or boat, can you use it while ice fishing without having to buy the whole extra ice shuttle and ice stuff? Well, we're gonna answer that today and show you a really cool custom build of exactly how you can do it and it'll be live scope capable. All right, so we're gonna take a look at what's inside and how I built this to hold my UHD 93 SV and be able to use it on the ice. This is just simply an Igloo 30 quart cooler I mean, I did no modifications other than mounting the Garmin to the top. Now, how did I mount it? Two options you could go about it. You could just buy another one of the gimbal brackets, screw it into the top, mount it on. I didn't want to spend the money, so I actually found an ice bucket that you keep in your freezer. You, you know, break off ice cubes and put them in a bucket, and it fit perfectly. I just kind of took my Garmin gimbal bracket, put it on the outside, traced it, cut it out, and put that right onto the top. So I actually then took the normal screws that I'd mount my garment to the normal racket, use those right in here. It holds it up perfectly. Now, as far as the weight goes, obviously it's gonna fall if you let go. I've got the steel rod that I just put amongst these two brackets that hold it in place. Now, eventually I'm gonna replace it with one of those like locking shock type things that you'd see on a cabinet that, you know, you lift the cabinet up and it stays there and then you pick it up a little more and it closes. Well, obviously I built it like this to be able to add live scope in the future. I don't have it now. When I have it, I wanna be able to utilize it. So the live scope box, whatever you wanna call it, will actually then sit right inside the bottom of the cooler. As far as powering goes, I've got right inside the cooler here, uh, my Amped Outdoors, uh, big battery that's set, and I actually store all of my PVC pipe that makes up the arm that will hold my transducer. This to me was the one thing I just didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. So I got like a six foot length of PVC. I got three T's and I got like a threaded and unthreaded piece on the end, which is what I've built into holding my transducer. So we'll get to this in a second here. But first just wanted to show you how I built this. Just took the PVC, I cut it down into a couple different lengths. I've got this one is like 13 inches, one is 24 inches, one is 18 inches. That's just to, you know, get the depth of the ice so I can swap these out and stay right in the cooler or right inside the bottom tub of my shack here. As far as what holds it on top of the ice, I just cut these off. This is like a little six inch and a six inch. I've got uh, one inch pieces inside here and this is just three T's, you can see it. And I've orientated it like this. Now I didn't glue it because I wanted to be able to move it around. You know, say I've got big snow over on one side, it's like bulking up. I don't want things to be uneven onto the ice so I can utilize this to help, you know, kind of keep things sturdy or if I want to dig this in a little bit. So I wanted to be able to move it around I like the little kind of offset, sits right in the hole. There's no way you can make this thing fall through. The vertical piece then goes in here, and then the transducer goes on there. So I use my chirp and my down scan at the same time. Again, there is one trick though, that if you're gonna use this normal GT56, GT54 transducer through the ice, you gotta make one special setting change. I'll show you that coming up here in a bit. But as far as mounting this, number one question, I've had asked when I kind of previewed this out on my social media is how do you get the transducer built and get it to hold? So I wanted to keep everything basically how it is on my kayak. Now I run the Scotty arm off the side of my kayak and have, you know, my armor just mounted like this. So I took this piece of PVC and I cut out like basically half of it and just have this small little tab that hangs on. Drill the hole through it. Then I've got my big washers, run this bolt right through and lock it on. This is tight and is not going anywhere. So um, it does have a little bit of movability. If again, something's uneven, I can adjust this because you always want your transducer to be flat and straight in the water or to make it work properly. So I, I, I can kind of pull it a little tight and get it set. But I mean, this thing has been awesome. I've used it, caught fish to the ice already with it, just using, you know, the ability to see my bait go up and down. That's really all I wanted it, you know? That's as simple as it is. You can use this on the ice. So if you have any questions, drop a comment, send me a message. Love to help you out with showing you how to do this. Obviously, once you do live scope, this would go away and you replace this with the live scope unit. Um, eventually, when I do that, I will show you how to mount that onto a similar pole like this. And it's a way to just be able to, you know, utilize your live scope without having to drop so much money on a pole. You can do it on a three quarter PVC, it works awesome. So let's fire up the unit. So I will actually have in the description below a full parts list of everything that you need to build this yourself. So I'll lay it all out, click the link, you can go right there, buy it right off of Amazon, put it together. It is super simple, super easy. Again, a really affordable way. I think total I've got invested between the cooler, 
and the PVC pipe, 35 bucks to put this whole thing together. So as you can see, everything sets up. I like to run my standard chirp on one side, and my down imaging on the other. You can obviously go in and customize it and put up any one of the combos you want. Um, if you just want sonar, they actually do have flasher mode. So your traditional flasher, like you'd have an ice flasher, you could use that as well on here. But I like to just run uh, just my sonar and I'll do traditional and clear view. Side by side, works awesome to see your bait, you know, go down and you just can watch it that way. Now, the one recommendation I will give is you will have to go in and change your scroll speed and make it a lot faster. So again, to get to that, you go through menu, traditional sonar menu, you're gonna go to sonar setup, and then you're gonna go to scroll speed. Typically, default there is at that like five, it's much slower. In order to be able to see your bait and keep up with it, you're gonna have to move it all the way up to 10, hit done, and it scrolls much faster. So yes, you can use a Garmin UHD unit on the ice without buying the additional power pack thing, without buying the additional ice transducer. Use what you got, save yourself some cash, get out fishing. And then when you want to pack up, put everything away. Take the lid, press it down, everything closes in. So that's it, super simple and easy. If you have any questions, uh, detailed looks you wanna get more on how to build it or some other ideas or suggestions, drop me a comment. Uh, that's what I'm about. I'm here to help and show you ways that you can utilize the things that you already have. I mean, yes, you can just go and buy the ice transfers. You could just buy the actual Garmin pack. You could buy the whole Panoptics package. But if you already have a Garmin UHD unit that you use on your boat or your kayak and you just wanna get out and do a little bit of ice fishing, you're not super serious about it, you wanna have some sort of electronics, this is a great way to utilize it. And I dropped, I think, 35 bucks. That's it. Super simple and easy. So again, drop a comment. You want to know more, give the channel a like and subscribe as well. I should probably also note that the one tool that I used for pretty much everything, I think is the must have for any DIYer, a little Dremel tool. I mean, nothing you can't do with a Dremel and like a jigsaw, you're set to go. So if you got those two things, you're ready to rack out this project and so many other projects can save you a ton of cash down the road. A jig. Weeds. Oh, there he is. Hooked up. He's okay. burying himself in the weeds. <sighs> All right, Ooh, so hooked up oh, again. Nice little guy. Oh, fatty too. Look, look at that. Boom.